Hi everyone, I hope you are well wherever you are watching this today. My name is Isaac Alwode, I'm a member of Telford Elam Community Church and today I'm going to be talking to you about victory over fear. This has been the main theme in the church over the last couple of weeks and I'll be addressing this from a personal perspective. So to start off, I'd like to direct you into Psalm 3 verse 3, which says, But Lord, you are my shield, my wonderful God, who gives me courage. Now, about a month ago, I was involved in a car accident. And to put it briefly, I was going down a single track country lane on the way to an appointment that wasn't in any rush at all. A vehicle was coming up the other way. I had to swerve to avoid it. In doing so, my car almost toppled upside down, but ended up driving it into the side of the road and crashing it there. I was able to get out completely unscathed, thank God. And this is where definitely God was my shield, as I could have been seriously injured in that incident. In the immediate aftermath, um, there were many things that were going through my mind. The first thing I did was to cancel my appointment. After that, I wasn't sure how I was going to get recovery and that sort of thing. But the insurance called me since I had a black box. They were aware that something had happened and called me up, organised the recovery. Within about an hour or so, just over, I was well on my way. In this time, there was a lot of fear of what was going to happen next. Didn't, I had no idea what was happening. But the main thing, definitely, was that God had protected me, that I was okay, completely unscathed and uninjured. About, I had to wait about a week or so for a courtesy car. Within this time, I still had to be going to work and, say, going to church, doing all the things that I would normally do. And I was very thankful for people that were there for me in my time of need when I needed to go to A, or, to a and B, anywhere I needed to go. I was very thankful for those people and I thank God for bringing those people into my life. Going on from that, when I was about to get the courtesy car, it was a bit of a roller coaster. In fact, more so after I got the courtesy car, actually, about three days after I'd had it, the roller coaster continued in that the courtesy car broke down at work. I thought everything was sort of seemed to be coming against me at this point. So there was a little bit of fear of so nothing seemed to go right. But God reminded me that there was a, he was always looking after me. A particular verse, Matthew 6 verse 27 says, but who of you can add a single day to your life by worrying? There was no need for me to worry at all. The car broke down at work. It wasn't that I was in a, in a motorway or anything like that. Thankfully, it broke down at work so that it was able to get sorted quite quickly. Going on further from that, it wasn't a great situation that I was in, whether to be in an accident or to have the courtesy car breakdown. But as I say, God really did keep me. And it's something that I want you guys to take from this in that you should always have faith in God in that whatever situation you may find yourself in, as the world is sort of changing at this moment in time with COVID-19 going around, a lot of things are changing in people's lives. But I want you to have full confidence in God that he can do anything for you um, within that time. Anything that you need, whether it's small or large, God can help you. Another verse that actually makes me quite smile quite a lot and helps me within any time, and particularly this time where I was in the accident, was Nehemiah 8 verse 10, which says, The joy of the Lord is my strength. And indeed, it was my strength and it's kept me smiling throughout any troubles that I've had. Again, it's something that I would like you to take as an encouragement from this. I thank God that I'm able to give you this testimony and to be able to talk to you at a time like this because it could have been very different. I might not have been able to give this up this opportunity and be given this opportunity to talk to you like this. And for that, I can only be eternally grateful. So sort of as a conclusion for, to this, I want you to take that God can help you to deal with any fears that you have. To have victory over fear, you've got to have faith. Faith is the opposite of fear. Fear is what the devil uses um, as his currency. And faith is the currency that we have to believe in God in that everything he can do through his power. Thank you very much for listening. Hope you have a very nice day and God bless.